When signing up for a Web Starts account, you'll be asked to choose a web address. In this video, I'll give you some ideas about how to choose the right web address for your specific website. During the Web Starts sign up process, you'll be presented with two options. The first is to use a free webstarts.com address. This would be something like your very own website dot webstarts dot com to use an address like that is totally free but if you'd like to use a top level domain name like a dot com dot net dot org or other top level domain name you'll want to make sure to choose use a domain name for your web address choosing a domain choosing a web address can be a daunting task and if you'd like to skip it and come back and do it later, you can always click Choose Later. I'm going to click Choose Later, and then I'm going to show you where you can go to make that selection later on. Here you can see I'm in the Web Starts dashboard, and if I want to use a free .webstarts.com address, but I chose to skip that portion during the sign up process, I can click right here on this little pencil icon and then I can change from this kind of erroneous number that's assigned as my web address to whatever I want. So for example, if I want to call this hopeministry.webstarts.com, I just enter the keyword hope ministry and click OK. Now, if that subdomain name is not available, you'll get a little message like this that'll ask you to try another one. In that event, you'll just have to come up with another keyword that makes more sense. So we'll say Hope Ministry International. It's a little bit longer. It's my second choice. I click OK, and then you'll see a message that says success. The domain name has been successfully changed. You click OK and the page will refresh and then you can see here that my new free.webstarts.com address has been applied to my site. If later on you decide I want to add a top level domain name because I think that's going to help my business or my organization get more taken more seriously then just click add domain. From here what you'll do is you'll choose whether you want to register a new domain name so if you've never registered a domain name for your website when you want to choose one you can do that just by entering it here so if I wanted to say hope ministry international and there's a good chance that this is already taken and then I go dot com I search for that oh you can see there that it is available probably because I misspelled it be careful not to misspell your .com, it'll say it's available, but it'll also give you suggestions on some of these other top level domain names that are similar that are available. So just choose one that you like and when you're ready, click continue and then you'll be taken to the page where you choose an upgraded Web Starts plan. Keep in mind that you need to be on a paid plan in order to connect a domain name. One is included with everything from Pro Plus end up so that includes the business plan but if you simply want to connect the domain name you can do that with the pro plan now if you already have a domain name that you registered in the past let's say for example at GoDaddy or another registrar you would enter that domain name after selecting I already have a domain name so you could say you know hope ministry international dot com and then click continue. Now it's always going to say that your domain name is available when you say that you already own the domain name because it assumes that you have control over it. So if you connect that domain name and continue to the next step, what it will do after you select a plan is it will configure the Web Starts servers to allow you to point that domain name back at Web Starts. So in the case that you already own a domain name, you'll have to go through this process, pay for a Pro Plus or business plan, and then you'll have to go into go, your GoDaddy account and then change what's called the DNS 
to ns1.webstarts.com and ns2.webstarts.com. Usually takes uh, a couple of hours to start working if you go that route. If you do decide to register a new domain name like I covered a moment ago with WebStarts, that process happens within about 90 seconds. So if you're registering the domain name for the first time through WebStarts, you're going to have a better experience because there's not going to be any of that extra work to do. Let me go back out to my site here and then you'll notice that at any time, of course, you can change that subdomain as well. When choosing your web address, a few things to keep in mind is one is you want to try to make your web address something that people can remember. And generally that means that the keywords that you use while choosing your web address should either be your business or organization name. It should be keywords that have to do with your business or organization. And then typically you'd want to choose a web address that is as short as possible. So it's a very easy uh, web address to remember. And then the other one is that you want to be careful that it's easy to spell. And sometimes we use homonyms and that means that there's more than one way to spell a word that sounds the same. And in the, that event, you want to be very careful and very explicit while choosing a domain name. And I, I generally would say try to avoid using those altogether. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to visit webstarts.com where you can create your very own free website and you can connect a domain name and have it working within about 90 seconds. Thanks for watching.